Hey, it's Zach from Pensacola, Florida. Um, I'm using my new Instant Pot Vortex Air Fryer tonight to fry up some catfish. But down here in the south, you can't have fried fish without having cheese grits. So I'm gonna use my Instant Pot to make a really good, really easy cheese pot recipe. So I'm gonna show you what we got going on. First, I set it to saute, and I browned a pound of smoked sausage. That's looking real good. But I took them out because I don't want to pressure cook the sausage. I want to stay just like this. So I took those out, but I left the grease in there. Uh, saute function is still on. I'm going to take about, I don't know, five or six cloves of, of garlic, a rough chop. I'm going to put that in there just for a minute. Just kind of let them sweat and get in that grease. Wait just a few more seconds. take a, a cup of regular grits, they're not instant grits, they're regular grits, and we'll pour that in there, and we'll stir those up with that garlic. Get those in there with it, with those good sausage drippings. All right, now I'm going to take three cups of chicken broth. You know, the recipe calls for water, but whenever I can substitute chicken broth for water, I'm going to do it. So, I'm going to pour that in there. Now I'm going to pour in a cup and a half of half and half. Alright, a few more things. Two tablespoons of butter. And a teaspoon and a half of salt. All right, we'll give all that a good stir. Make sure that those grits are off the bottom of the pot. Real simple here. All right, I'm gonna take my lid, I'm gonna turn it to sealed. Put it on now. I'm gonna take off the saute function, it actually helps to pressurize quicker if you saute, put on saute while everything's getting uh, being prepared. So I'm gonna cancel that, but I'm gonna put on pressure cooker the pressure cooker function for, for 10 minutes. All right, we'll be back. Hey, Zach, we're back with the cheese grits. Let me show you what we got. It's gonna look a little bit liquidy. But that's fine because we're about to put in a cup of Parmesan cheese to thicken it up. Now you can use whatever cheese you want. Um, some people put cheddar, you know, whatever cheese you want. Um, and let me mix that, mix that in there. So it's starting to thicken up. All right. Now the brown sauces that we've been saving. Now that's going in there. You stir for a minute. We've got some great cheese grits going on. All right, we'll see y'all next time. All right, 